All right, 96 Lumina. Report in a code. So we're gonna plug this jobber in here. Okay. Ah, come on. And let me turn the key to on so that this thing actually works. I said the key to on. All right, here we go. So, yes, and we're looking for the magical protocol. There it is, yeah, yes. Code's found. There's the one. <gasps> Ooh, exclamation point. Read codes. Stored codes. Camshaft position sensor, blah, blah, blah. All right, go me. So camshaft position sensor. Now, the point of this video is that if you see my channel, I'm the computer nerd, music playing dork. So if I can do this kind of a repair, anybody can. So I figured I'd record it. This is what I got. Um, lifetime warranty, I'm hoping this is good. This is the things jacking up the car, calling throwing a code so yeah so once again I'm a computer nerd I don't know anything about cars at all but it's one of those things that the world of reading can do read how to do it it won't seem too difficult at all so let's do this all right so let me tell you what we're gonna be doing we gotta take the belt off so that I can remove the water pump. Not remove it, but just kind of move it out of my way because the sensor is right under here. This is actually the wire to it. So all I gotta do is unplug that in a minute. So I gotta loosen this though so that I can get him out the way. So what we gotta do is release the tension on it. This guy right here, this tensioner thingamabob. It's gotta put a ratchet in that. We'll pull that back and that'll release all the tension. I could just pop that off real quick. Okay, so this is, I'm, I'm really slow doing this slow and by, you know, step by step for anybody who just doesn't know cars, but this is, so I'm gonna take this without anything on it. I'm just gonna put that right in the tension arm thingy and I'm just gonna lift. You can see me start to lift, it'll loosen the belt a bit. So I'm gonna do that in one second. But I can't do it holding the camera. Here, leave that there. Chill for one second. There we go. Alright, I'm out of my way. So now we need to take this guy off. So now we can spin it because the belt's off. And it's hard to, I'm, there's no way I'm going to be able to show you. But in here I can feel one bolt, two bolt. Possibly three bolt. So we gotta take them off. Listen. That should be loose enough to get it off without this on here. Urgh. Tight squeeze right there. I don't have a smaller one of these, so we gonna have to make do. One down. All right, here we go. Push that in. Pressed for space over here. Get in there. Come on. Lock in. This when the car is cold, because it's kind of hot right now, and it's burning the hell out of me. But got to do what I got to do. Be a man. All right, there's that last one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's get it. Yeah. 
Okay. Come here. I got this little reservoir's cheap plastic and folds like a recording. There we go. Oh yeah, man. I got it. Okay, now, in theory, this whole thing should just move out in the way. I'm gonna show you close up what's going on here. This, you can see how it's all moving. It catches kind of every little darn thing it can on the way out. So it takes some finessing, but we can do it. So let's, let's figure this out, here we go. Not hard to see, but that's what we're trying to get at. If I can get this damn thing out of the way. Let me show you what I'm doing here. See that there? Hang on, let me go. Let me get the flashlight. Got it right here. Okay. Oh Jesus. See it? That's what we gotta pull out. And that, so I'm removing that. That bolt there. And then this whole thing gonna pop out. Okay? That's why I'm trying to show you everything I do. Watch the other videos out there, and it's like, oh, just then remove the bolt. Okay, what bolt? Where? Well, remove the power steering pump. What? Why am I removing it? How am I removing it? You know? So let me, that's why I'm trying to show every little thing I can. Yo, hit me up with my magnet, yo. Ding! Yes, pain in the ass. All right, now I could have just reached and grabbed it if it wasn't so freaking hot, but since it is, so I may have to pop the seal off of this. Causing all the problems it is. Alright. Man. Okay. Eh. Okay, there we go. See where it goes. Now, you drop anything in there, you might as well throw the car out. Just an FYI. So, be careful. The good news is, it'll only go one way, because there's only one screw. Hang on one second. I want to push it down kind of harder, but this is so freaking hot at the moment. Uh, and I don't feel like waiting. Uh, there we go, that's the pot. I mean, it, it kind of smacks in, you know, once you get it, you can feel it. It's in all the way now. Let's see. Okay. Woo! Okay, now. Yeah. 
bit out of my way for a moment. For my next step. Let's see. 20 minutes to get the damn thing out. I can figure out how to get the damn thing back into place. This is just a stupid freaking design. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful right there. Beautiful. Everybody happy? Everybody seems happy. Alright. So, let's put the bolt piece back in to the power steering pump. Sounds fun, don't it? There we go. We're gonna have to move it just a tad to get it where it wants to be happy. We'll tighten them all at the same time. I, th I think it'd be easier. I think it'd be way better to to get everybody situated. So still have a little bit of play. <laughs> Gotta line up the little wheel, and you gotta line up the little thing, and you gotta line up the other thing, and this thing, and that thing, and everything lines up, and in a perfect world, it goes back together. this little thing back. I need the little guy here. Oh my god with the wind chimes. Last but not least, I'm going to plug her in. I'm going to put a little bit of this magic stuff. It's just good for electronics. Supposedly. Okay, and we'll push this right there so it don't go nowhere. Basically, that stuff just makes it so the electronics don't corrode or anything over time. Yeah, let's see if it'll autofocus. I don't know. It might be a gimmick. Whatever. There we go. Now, the code may not be gone instantly, but we'll see what happens here. See, I still got a code, but but that's just because why is it still be stop beeping? It's just really because it hasn't like you know been reset. I haven't driven driven at all. So if I was to drive far enough, the code would eventually just shut off because it's happy now. So let me turn the car to on so I can so I can delete it out of there. Ding. You wouldn't have to do that. I mean, you could just unplug your battery for 15, 20 minutes. Unplug your battery while you're doing this would be the smart thing to do, but I didn't. Because I'm a dumb dumb. But, um. Yeah, it's not the same thing, right? Okay. But, if you have one of these, you can just go in and delete it so you don't really have to 
worry about it. Erase my codes. Yes. Erase done. Okay, now, off, off. And for now, so now I have no code, and now it should not come back. We should be solid. So I'm gonna go for a quick drive, because last time I cleared the code and there was a problem, before I even hit the end of the block, the light came back on. So I'm gonna go for a quick drive, pick up some Petro, and uh, hopefully that light don't come back on. Okay, back, full gas. It's idling quiet now. I wish I had a before and after, because I didn't realize the difference there would be. It was idling a little rough before, but nice and quiet now. And so we're done. The computer nerd has fixed his car for just the cost of the part, which was 39 bucks at AutoZone, with tax, including the tax. And if I had somebody, it would have cost a little over 100, 120, depending on who did it. So, win for the computer nerds.